What's up guys, Paul Salmon here. So I'm gonna introduce you to a new concept that I've came up with myself called evidence-based aviation. And that's coming up next. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm a doctor. I know I don't look like a doctor. I'm not sure what a doctor's supposed to look like, but I'm probably not it, but anyway, I'm a doctor. So in the practice of medicine, we have what's called evidence-based medicine. So when you wanna change a practice, <clears throat> something that you're doing within the realms of the practice of medicine, it's generally accepted once you can prove it with evidence. So, so something as simple as like, you know, trying to get Foley catheters out of patients sooner, there's good evidence. If you do that, there's a much lower track of urinary tract infections and that, just as an example, right? Okay, so here we go. In March of 1956, the uh, International Civil Aviation Organization, or IKL, came up with the idea of having a standard <coughs> phonetic alphabet. And that is a really good idea. So they came up with a standard phonetic alphabet that we're all familiar with, Alpha Bravo, Charlie Delta Echo, etc. all right? Nobody's gonna argue with that. And I'm sure you could readily come up with evidence that that was a very, very good idea. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit from 1956. And over about the last 10 years now, and maybe this existed in 1956, since 1956, and I was just unaware of it. But over the last, oh, I don't know, 10 years or so, <clears throat> there's been this big push to pronounce uh, the numbers in aviation differently. Not all the numbers, but a few of them specifically four, five, three, and, and nine, all right? And how the supposed pronunciation they want you to use now is Fowler Tree Fife Niner, all right? Every time I've ever heard anybody call in to ATC or to the tower or anything using more than one of those, Fowler Niner, Fowler Five, Three, whatever. So just about every time I've ever heard anybody call in saying numbers like that nearly every time you'll hear the tower say say again because i didn't understand and to me it does not seem probable that anybody's going to mistake four five three nine for anything other than four five three nine okay i don't know where this came from okay so challenge out there in YouTube land. And I've looked all over the place. I cannot figure out or find any particular citation that shows when this actually started for sure. Here's a challenge to you guys. Try to figure out some evidence or some citation that shows when this began and see if there's any evidence that actually backs that up, that somehow pronouncing it Fowler Five Tree Niner is going to be uh, much better understood than Four Five Three Nine. Okay, I can't find it. I'd like to see it. That would be our first case of evidence-based aviation. Okay, now there are some things that ought to be changed. In fact, on the phonetic code, there's one thing that absolutely ought to be changed, and I'll tell you why. I used to have a helicopter that the end number was 186 Sierra Hotel. Nearly every time I called into the tower <clears throat> at, a new uh, at a new airport that was unfamiliar with me, they would respond, so I would call in, uh, November 186 Sierra Hotels, 10 out, inbound for landing. And they'd come back, uh, November 186 Zero Hotel. So, I mean, every time Sierra was heard as zero, and I don't know if that's just the way I say it or whatever, but I frequently hear that, where it will be, Sierra will be misunderstood as zero. So that's one change they ought to make right there. S ought to be changed and not be Sierra anymore. Change it to whatever you want, Schlepp, Sacrin, uh, Sweetener, I don't care, <laughs> 186 Sweetener Hotel. <laughs> I don't change it to anything you would, but it ought to be something other than Sierra because that's confusing. That definitely is confusing. Okay, guys, well, I hope you liked the video and thanks for putting up for me for acting silly for about the last five minutes over this whole issue, but anyway. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one or two or tree or flower or five videos. Stay tuned.